morning guys so we just got the combine all serviced and got everything fueled up and ready to go and we are rolling out of here this morning dad and i with the combine and grain cart and uh grandpa is on his way over to our house to go pick up the corn head where i took it over last night we're headed to go pick corn over on mars today we're gonna go pick on that field that he calls max uh that 45 acres there on 1500 and then uh, move over to that 60, 65 acre field uh, over just uh, west of Anita's there in Porter County. guys so we got the head on and uh, we are going to go ahead and pick these ends off here so I can get the green cart in and then grandpa and I are gonna run back to the farm and he's gonna bring one of the trucks back so yes we are gonna run uh, one of our trucks today so that's cool <laughs> Got the auger wagon full so he'll be waiting uh, another 15 minutes but that's no big deal it's gonna be a while today well finally next in line to dump well we got a pair of parkers sitting over there got quite a line over here at Malden though nothing like it was yesterday I've heard well there's Marv <laughs> dad's already completely full again back at the field green carts full combines full <laughs> He told me he's gonna go ahead and clean windows. I told him, yeah, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but holy cow, look at the size of that crane over there. That crane is absolutely massive. Wow. Guys ask me what I want for an ideal setup. Right there it is. Man, that is sharp. Not a bad combo sitting there either. I know I'm gonna get asked this down in the comments down below. Do I like driving truck better than I like driving grain car or vice versa? Honestly guys, I'd rather stay in the field. I don't mind driving truck. I don't mind going to the elevator and stuff or going back to the farm. 
and hauling, but the field is where the action's at, and I'd rather be where the action's at. What's left over here, which is actually only 12 rows now, uh, hopefully, maybe we'll be able to get all on this blue truck, and uh, I'm gonna boogie on up to Malden here. It is 2.55 and they close at four. I shouldn't have a problem getting over there, but uh, I just got word from Grandpa and the line is insanely long now, a heck of a lot longer than, than what it was when we were up there. So I'll be waiting there for a little while. Yeah, I'm gonna be here a while. I'm clear over on the north lot. Grandpa is next in line to go over to the west lot. He's sitting over there in the east lot. Marv, I think uh, he'll be pulling around here. He just pulled around the way out. So, well, I'm gonna be sitting here a while. <laughs> Finally, I made it to the west lot. Finally. You can see Grandpa over there. A friend of mine sitting right behind him. Getting closer. It's already past four. See you later, Grandpa. I'll be back in, I hope, an hour. <laughs> oh, man. to dump. Oh man, it feels good to be back. So good. Norm brought me down to the green cart. It took me about right at an hour and a half uh, to wait up at Malden to dump. So right now, I'm uh, headed with the green cart over to that 60 or 65 acre field. And uh, we're gonna see how much we can get knocked out tonight out there. Pretty much everything is empty and we're gonna fill the green cart also. So I imagine we'll be able to put a pretty good dent in that field tonight. When everybody's waiting on you, and you can only go 26 mile an hour. Let's go, come on 85, let's go. Let's hope there's no surprises in this field. There we go. for tonight. What's on the grain cart will fill the last tandem and there will still be quite a bit on the grain cart yet. So dad wanted to clean out because he's going to fold the top down on the combine. I'm going to go ahead and roll the tarp after I get done filling this truck. Really no reason to fill the grain cart because as close as what we are to Malden, literally like a mile and a half, uh, and how fast they're going to be able to haul and how fast they're going to be able to pick, there's really no reason for us to fill the grain cart. So after this, we're going to call it quits for tonight. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you guys in the next video then.